right then, I'm leaving that uh, drove. I'm leaving that drove, that beautiful scene. I've managed to get to uh, Lydiard Hill and the trig point. Saw Triscombe Stone. A long hike along a big avenue of trees it was. Some beautiful views of Somerset. And met some interesting people that helped me for future walks. And um, pointed out where I can get to West... Well, this church I want to get to. Um, and I will get there another time. The other way I plan to go. Which is drive Alberta to near Spaxton. That will be one of my day trips. Now I couldn't video this this morning when I came down because the, that's when the lead started to pack up. I don't know why the lead should pack up. But uh, it did. But the camera still went flat very quickly, even so. But I put that down to the speed of the zoom. So I think I've solved that problem. Right, we're now back on the familiar territory. Uh, the Quantox proper, I call this. And what I'm going to do is head for Bick Nuller Pole, then go down the Coombe. Uh, I doubt if I'll see any deer in that particular Coombe, though. I'd like to go down through another Coombe. But uh, I'm not quite sure. It's a bit late to start exploring. Um, I do know it really, but you've got to, you've got to actually um, you've got to go through tall ferns to get the path. That's what you've got to do. See. <sighs> I just try not to get anyone in the video, really. It's good though, there's not been many out. <sighs> right, so the idea is not to go across Great Nap Hill, or whatever you want to call it. At least I know that that is a, that is a big walk. If you go that way, extend across the Quantox that way, I've gone to the almost the furthest point. But you can actually walk to the uh, the villages over that side as well. Oh, it's my little horses. They've seen them earlier. They've just moved along a little bit, that's all. Now, in theory, there won't be many hills, I don't think, for me to climb. Um, there's a trig point up there, which I've seen this morning. I don't know, I might walk round it, because I'm going to pick up the track. I'm going to pick up the track further down. There's a foal having a drink from his mum down there. I seen them, that fall, give me a kiss on my arm earlier. Yeah, I did. They're staying together, the white horse as well, which is a stallion, I think. They seem to be staying together, those three. And the mare stopped to let the baby have a drink. It's a very tall. They're, these horses are very tall. Right, I came back up this today. Now I don't know whether to walk around or go up and then down. I haven't decided yet. Those horses are intelligent. They'll remember that I came along earlier chatting away to myself. They say, oh, it's that woman again. Even that foal might come up to me because he'd seen me earlier. See? They got, they're very intelligent. You might think, oh, there she is again. That's that nice lady I seen earlier. Right, that's a private way in there, but I don't know whether you can get in. There seems to be a track that runs down the side there, look. If you want to go to Crocombe, which I never spotted before. 
Look. And there's the two little ponies there. I think I went round last time. I might just go up the top and round, I don't know. Where should I go that way? I'm not sure whether to go that way or up and down. Oh, I can't decide. I think I'll go up, it might be more straightforward. Look at you, aren't you beautiful? You're going to come and say hello again? Are you? You're going to come and say hello again? Hey? Come on then. Come on, baby. Yeah, you're a good pony. Yes, you are. Good girl. Or oh, boy. Hello. Look, have you got some more camera? Yeah. You know, you can't have your top. Right, bye bye then. I'm going now. Bye bye. You're beautiful, aren't you? Bye bye, baby. They see me as another, another mother, you see. Yeah, we'll go up here and then down, I think. I'll get me bearings. All right, I'm going to turn off for a minute while we go down here, so I'll take a picture of the horse. <laughs>